For 20 years, Bo Schembechler has been prowling the sidelines for the Michigan Wolverines. In those 20 years, a lot of great players have worn the maize and blue, and as Bo has always said, Michigan football is a players program. Well, this past April, players from Bo's 20 teams paid him tribute. A special reunion called 20 Years, 20 Teams, Our Tribute to Bo took place at Chrysler Arena. Better than 400 players, coaches, trainers, and managers made the trip back to Ann Arbor to honor their coach. ABC Television's Dan Deerdorf, a former Wolverine and one of Bo's best, was the master of ceremony. Each team had a representative say a few words. And as you'd expect, from 20 diverse generations of Michigan football, the comments ranged from good-natured kidding to the emotional. And probably, thank you for teaching us probably one of the most important lessons while we were here at Michigan. Those who stay will be champions. So may God bless you, and thank you, Bo. And uh, I would like to say one thing to Coach Schembechler in congratulating him on his only national championship uh, with the basketball team. And uh, like I tell you one thing, the way you've been taking credit for that win, it's like you shot those last two free throws. Maybe the greatest thing that you taught us, something I always remember, is that you, know, you taught us that life and football are attitudinal. And then in the final analysis, it's our attitude, our attitude more than our ability, that determines the course of our life. You'll always be remembered as a winner, Bo. You know, but I think a truer statement is this. You build winners. The final speaker was, of course, Bo. He was greeted by a very warm standing ovation, and only the head coach could capture the emotion and the feeling of family that existed that evening in Chrysler. Because no matter what I've done or where I go or the new friends I meet and all the accolades they all say about me and all that, the bottom line is, my friends are you. Every one of you are welcome to come back to Michigan at any time because you are Michigan. You are exactly what you said you were. You built this program. You won in this program. This program is you. And I'm damn proud of the fact that I had an opportunity to coach you all. Thank you. It was really quite an emotional evening, and uh, we did edit out some of the comments that were a little earthier, and yet... Yeah, I'm glad you did. <laughs> and yet... I it was really special. There aren't many guys that hang around 20 years in coaching to have their teams come back to honor them. Well, I don't think it was uh, so much uh, to come back to honor me. Oh, it as, was. Uh, we were a tribute to you. I know. Now, I know I you know, don't but, like to um, say that, but it's true. But it was uh, great to have uh, all the guys back and, and uh, see them have so much fun uh, kidding one another. Um, 84 team took a... <laughs> Took a real well, living, didn't we it? almost threw them out of the room because they, they were six and six. Had, they had to have a vote, see if they'd <laughs> leave them in there. <laughs> but uh, that was a great evening. And um, for those people who uh, wonder whether college football is really worthwhile or not, should have been there. And then they'd realize the tremendous impact that the game had on a lot of great men that were there that night. I think one of the great things was done by Jim Lyle, one of the speakers that we featured in there. Jim was not one of the great players, no. and yet Jim had a tremendous impact at that banquet and what he said. Yeah. Well, Jim was one of those guys got the hell kicked out of him <laughs> on the demonstration team. But, but he hung in but there. But he hung in there, and he always felt he was a part of Michigan football, and he was.